Hi, my name is Tulsi Noreen with the Data Solution Engineering Team. In this video, I'll demonstrate and discuss the steps to take in restoring a VM to VMware environments. The Dado Appliance and Cloud Recovery Launchpad allows MSP to restore VMs back to VMware in a few ways. The most common way is to perform an image export of the VM as a VMDK or a VMDK link file. In this method, the Dado Appliance or Cloud Recovery Launchpad converts the backup image as a tick provision VMDK or VMDK link file that is available for download or copied over to the hypervisor data store. A quick note about VMDK link. Selecting this format prevents you from resizing the VM in the future. The Dato Appliance also utilizes the ESX upload method, which can place the VMDK file within a directory on your data store of choice. In this video, we'll use the ESX upload option. The second restore approach is to use the Dato BMR utilities to restore a backup image to an empty virtual machine. This approach is recommended in some restore scenarios as it's a means to create a thin provision VM. Finally, if a client has vSphere deployed with vMotion enabled, a storage vMotion can be performed by instantly virtualizing the system in the hypervisor, then svmotion the data from the appliance to the destination data store. Let's take a look at our first scenario. Uploading the backup data as a tick provision VMDK. Before we upload the VMDK file, we'll first want to create an empty VM template in ESX or vCenter. I'll right click on the node and create a new VM. I'll give it the name new hyphen VM and proceed to next. I'll select my data store, leave the VM compatibility and OS as is before I finish off with the wizard. I'll remove the hard drive. With the VM created, I'm now ready to begin the VM upload process. I'll navigate to the Restore tab in a service appliance, select ESX Upload, and use a random snapshot from the drop-down list. In the Restore wizard, I'll select the Tulsi Data Store and name the Restore directory New VM. Remember, this is the same name we have given the VM, which will allow us to place the VMDK file within the same folder. Selecting Upload begins the upload process. Depending on the size of your VM, you'll want to adjust expectation on the time for completion. With the VMDK copied over, I'll head back to the VM and reassociate the uploaded VMDK file to the VM shell we have created earlier. With the VM configuration updated, I'm ready to verify the VM integrity by powered on. So there is no surprise here, the VM powered on successfully. To get a walkthrough of the process on restoring a VM utilizing the Dato BMR utilities or the image export option, check out the Restore to Hyper-V video in this series. I cover this process in details and the steps are almost identical besides the hypervisor. Now let's look at restoring a system to VMware with storage vMotion. From within the Dato Appliance, head to the Restore tab and select Virtualize via Hypervisor. This process allows for the appliance to keep the data while compute comes from another system. We'll pick a restore point at random and leave vCenter selected and click on Start Restore. I'll leave the configuration as default and uncheck the Rescue Agent checkbox. Clicking on Start Restore begins the restore process. And after a couple minutes, we'll have a system bootable within vCenter. To migrate this system, I'll right click on the Restore machine and select Migrate. We'll want to change the storage only. I'll select my data store and change the virtual machine disk format to tin provision and complete the wizard. Once the VM disk is copied over and we verify the VM is usable, I'll head back to the Dato appliance and remove the system from the restore menu. The appliance is still referring to the VM in vCenter as such we'll want to remove that link. 
And that's the entire process doing an SV motion when restoring a system from the service appliance. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching.